good day subscribers thank you so much for joining me today on the financial education channel so today we are talking about the UK leaving the EU the United Kingdom they left the European Union after being together for decades many people never saw this coming many people said it won't happen they're gonna stay in the people are gonna vote to stay in and in fact, that did not happen. Way more people voted that they wanted to leave than stay in. Now, the ramifications of this are huge in the short term. The Nikkei, the Japanese stock market, that went down 7%. All the European markets yesterday got destroyed. Most of the major bank stocks were down 5 to 10, some even 15%. The United States markets, the Dow was down over 600 points today. The NASDAQ was off over 4%. The pound went down last night. The pound, it went down 10%. Now, for those of you who do not follow currencies and know what that means, that is like a monstrous move. You do not see 10% moves in a currency almost ever. That is an extraordinary event extraordinary it's one thing for a stock to move 10 15 percent it's a whole nother for a currency currencies a big move for a currency is maybe moving a quarter of a percent and this was a 10 percent move holy smokes it is insane so in the short term we have an insane amount of volatility the markets are moving and they're moving down right now how long will this last will things bounce back monday i don't know i don't have a clue but why did the people of the United Kingdom want to even leave the European Union in the first place? They've been together for decades. Why do they want out? Well, I will show you why those people do want out. Why leave? Number one, they're sick of being told what to do by the European Union. They want to be sovereign again. They were afraid they're losing their sovereignty and they just they want it back. They want their freedom back. They don't want to be tied to this European Union and have to listen to all the things that they tell them to do, they being the European Union. It's like picture if the United States and Canada got together and they decided, okay, we're going to form a union, the United States and Canada, and one day Canada just got sick of it. They're like, okay, we're sick of you guys. You think you're holding us back and whatnot. We want out of this. So they go ahead and leave. It's the same thing that happened here. Number two, being held back. The people of the United Kingdom feel like they are being held back by being in that European Union. They want their own thing. The regulations and all that, which is point number three, strangling regulations, they feel like that's really holding back their economy. All these regulations the European Union puts out, it's just holding them down. And that's how they feel. And they're frustrated. They're mad because they haven't seen their, their wages go up in a long time in any meaningful way. Hey, kind of sounds like the United States a little bit. Hmm. Number four, the euro is a disaster. The United Kingdom, they want to get away from the euro. It's just been a mess for a long time, and they want to just unhinge from that. So this is just all a bunch of interesting stuff going on. It's something that has really gotten in the market's way as far as moving up. Um, it's just insane. My question is, a lot of people had to be mad to even want to get out of this. It seems like around the world, a lot of people are just mad and are frustrated at governments. You see this in the United States because we got a guy that's not even a politician running for office right now. And he, is, he has a legit chance of winning the presidency in Donald Trump. And you got to ask yourself, could you ever see the United States splitting up? Like, one half is, like, more Republican side, one half Democrat side, and, like, you live wherever you feel you're comfortable as far as politically? Could you ever imagine that? Maybe I'm just talking crazy, but after seeing the UK leave uh, the EU, you know, some things don't seem as crazy, and it seems like everything nowadays in the United States is so politically dividing. You are either on one side or you're on the other side. And it seems like we've really lost the togetherness of the United States. I feel like we're more apart than any time I've seen in my lifetime. It seems like every event that happens, the political parties are just waiting to attack the other one on that event more than 
any time in history. You look at the Orlando shooting a few weeks ago, it's the same thing. The parties were just waiting. The, the Republicans were waiting to say, hey, see, that's a Muslim. Like, you know, his dad was from Afghanistan or wherever. We shouldn't be letting those kind of people in here, blah, blah, blah. And the Democrats are pointing their fingers saying, hey, you know what? You know, if these guns didn't exist the way they do and we had tougher gun laws that wouldn't have happened, it's just a mess. And everybody just seems like it's more divided than ever before, or at least not ever before. I should not say that because going back in history, we were way more divided, you know, throughout history, the North and the South and all those kinds of things. But in recent history, it seems like we're more divided than ever. And you look at Hillary Clinton, you look at Donald Trump, one of those two people are going to be president. I'm not sure either one is going to be able to pull the nation together. More than half the country hates both of them, like hates them, not just doesn't want them as president hates them, hates their guts, to the point where they wouldn't mind if they were dead, honestly. That's how a lot of people feel in this country. So, it's something just to keep an eye on and always be aware of. You know, you see something like the EK, you, you know, the UK, UK leaving the EU. Who's to say the United States couldn't divide itself up someday? Who knows? Anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. Subscribers, if you like this video, hit a thumbs up. Do you guys have any comments on what I said about this? Do you have an opinion? Could you ever see any chance the United States divides itself up? Or is that just crazy talk I'm talking about? What do you think about this UK leaving the EU? Is it a big deal? Does it really have any ramifications in the market other than the stock market just going up and down a little bit? Leave some comments. Subscribe if you haven't. Have a great day.